Welcome, everybody. I really appreciate being here today. When I walked through the door, I didn't see any pride flags. I didn't know I would be welcome. But I saw a sign that said, all are welcome. Because there's churches that I'm not welcome. I grew up Methodist. And I'm well aware of how the Methodist religion started. Okay, and you know how, you know, he tried to convert uh, what were deemed at that time Indians and savages, but today's society, they don't even recognize us as, you know, willing to be in their church. I, um, so when I go to churches that do accept me and love me just the way they are, I really appreciate it. I, uh, I firmly believe that God has given me special talents, given me special friends to be here and speak to you today. Well, what I want to talk about today is uh, a couple weeks ago we went to Damp to Norwalk and I always kind of Google hate crimes in the town. Surprised to see that the owners of the gay bar down there were brutally beat up. Okay, to the point where the, one of the owners got hit in the esophagus and nearly died from asphyxiation. The other one uh, has $20,000 of facial reconstruction surgery and nearly had his eye socket knocked out. Okay, and the local police uh, originally only set a $50,000 bond as if it was a bar fight. So they went, eventually went to social media to try to say that it was a hate crime. And uh, I've been following the case. The case uh, will be actually tried in, uh, in November. Uh, that's the next court appearance. So, you know, Brian Donahue said, hey, you know, we have a state police task force. <laughs> well, I Googled it, okay. So of the 59 cases in 2002, which the state police hate crimes unit got involved, either an incident falling within the state police jurisdiction or a unit providing assistance to another agency, 44 cases were suspended with no leads. Two cases were referred to the FBI and four cases resulted in juvenile summons. Of the five cases resulted in arrest with charges relating to bigotry and bias, deprivation of rights or property damage, and threatening. It doesn't say if those were arrest, were convicted, but uh, still, out of those 58 crimes, you kind of see how we don't really have protection, okay? And God has given me kind of a blessing to have technical privilege, to work in a job where I'm safe, to live in a city of Middletown that uh, really takes uh, LGBTQIA plus uh, seriously. If you've been to Middletown Pride Parade, you'll see how well we do. We have a very active commission. And the state of Connecticut you know, is becoming a safe haven, okay, around the country. Literally, we got people from Florida saying we can't live here anymore. We're coming up to Connecticut. And so, um, what is my message? My message is that, you know, I'm not afraid, okay? I'm my authentic self regardless of who I am, of where I am, where I work, you know, I, I have gone to England, I've gone to Cancun, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid, but there's a lot of people who are. And a lot of people don't have my privilege, okay? And there's a lot of hate out there, okay? And there's a lot of intersectionality between uh, incidences that happen with minority groups, okay? And that's why I love the unity that we have between everybody here. Okay, so what am I asking 
today. Okay, I lead by example, okay? I would like everybody that is here today to go away with a message, okay? That our communities are under attack, okay? Our communities need allies. Our communities need smart, brilliant people like yourself to change the way that we live today. Because I know that we can do that. I know that the amount of, the number of good people uh, far outnumber the number of bad people that want to drive us into non-existence, okay? So I really hope today we're kind of planting the seeds, okay? And those seeds grow into nice flowers that pollinate other areas of the world that continue to grow and populate to promote love. Isn't that what it's all about? Hey, I really love you all, and I'm glad you're here today, and I hope you take my message and, and go forward. Thank you.